you know, in the entertainment world for like six years now. Mm. So it was kind of like, get over it. Mm. But at the same time, I understood, like as a man, he wanted to know like all the ins and outs of it. Yeah. And so I was very open, very transparent about everything, but it just got to a point where it was like, he couldn't let it go. Mm. And then at one point, he did tell me that I lacked confidence. <laughs> so that was a problem. Oh man, you know it's crazy. Hey, it started, sorry about the phone ringing, but bro, it started out good until she said this, entertainment industry. Now, I know some of y'all remember the Nova episode, because Nova, I was really pulling for her. She seems so, like a sweet woman, and she still do, even the way she talks. You would think she's such a sweet woman, but as soon as I saw that Instagram, I'm like, all right. And then she start explaining. Man, I'm going to let... Hey, put y'all cash up in the comments. Y'all know how I do. Also, if you want to join the $1,000 giveaway, it will be going down September 22nd at 7 p.m. live on this channel. You don't want to miss it. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel and <clears throat> um, follow me on Instagram. But hey, let's get into the video, fam. I lack anything if you haven't even gave me a chance to okay. show you like who I am or mm. what I'm capable of. Like when you show confidence, like I went on a show, didn't know anybody there. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like not even, this is not my cup of tea. Like yeah. I like to meet people old fashioned, like grocery store, gas station, even out at the bar, like <laughs> not on a dating show. Yeah. You know? So I was like, what? Like, so that kind of threw me back. And mm -hmm. then it was like, <sighs> yeah, it was just, it just got real, real messy um mm. towards the end of everything oh yeah okay and now um i know you said it was really like a lot focused on you like were you asking him questions and he wasn't answering it or oh, like yeah he's the king of deflection oh <laughs> he's king of deflection uh oh yeah so and he 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 owns it like he knows he knows uh -huh. so hey okay. i mean it was something that was like this is me mm -hmm. you know and i was like oh well we were, we're having you. so much yeah. fun. <laughs> Why didn't you come sooner? Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of one of those things for okay. me. Okay. Yeah. Reggie? What's <laughs> okay. going on, Mr. King of Deflection? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so pretty much the quote unquote like problem started was um we did have a conversation. Like I said, we spend a lot of time to, with each other. So we're having like deep conversations, mm -hmm. not just like surface level, like past the surface le surface level, like we really was getting deep. Yeah. And so pretty much um she was saying like we had to talk like like what did you think like uh you know how how like did you know you was gonna match with me you know we just kind of talking mm -hmm. um and <clears throat> it was like a thing was like tell me about like i was we was talking it's kind of like tell me some things you know what i mean it's like I, it was not just like you're not confident like we actually was mm -hmm. having a conversation okay. and i said that you know what i mean i just I said it was like yeah it was like yeah i think you can be more confident um and that was our, our like first big argument mm -hmm. but like I also said in the show, I'm big on communication, I'm big mm -hmm. on conversation. So we talked through it. It definitely was kind of early on. So, you know, it might have turned her off a little bit, but mm -hmm. I was kind of happy that we went through that because it's like, if we get through this hard stuff now, then it's only it's little roses and, and flowers at the end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, we went through that, we talked through it. It was a tough talk, but we got through it. And then that pretty much was the theme. It was like, whatever a hard conversation is, like she said, Mom, with the past, we had a hard conversation about that as well. And that was something that I haven't experienced before, so it was difficult for me. So I, I, I like sought counsel for that. You know what I'm saying? I talked to my best friend, talked yeah. to female friends. Um, shout out uh, BM. He helped me with counsel as well with that. Um, so yeah, and then I got over it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's like basically um, more specific, like you saying, being in like the entertainment world. Like mm -hmm. I've never talked to someone, you know, who did that before. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like I was even going so much to the point where I was getting counsel from her like hey how, how did you have have you gone through this before you know what i mean so <clears throat> i was being true to who i was as far as like trying, trying to have the converse the communication part um at a high level mm -hmm. but it's just like um something that i kind of learned from and I, I might be jumping the gun a little bit but something i kind of learned from it is like if someone is is like has like past trauma something like this it's like you have to tread lightly when you're talking to them and because like i'm just telling you like i'm big on communication so it might seem like i'm poking a bear mm -hmm. but i'm really trying to learn you to figure out how i can love you better you know what i mean okay. so it's but if i'm triggering something and not realizing it and it just seems like i'm antagonizing antagonizing you feel like you know you're defending yourself every day mm -hmm. then like 
in hindsight, I can see how it looked from her perspective. But in that moment, I was just like, you're hiding stuff from me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, I have to, I have to take responsibility for that as well. Okay. So she's saying, you know, you got to know her and all that stuff, but she didn't really get much out of you. Like, what was the reasoning for that? Like, why didn't you open up, I guess? <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's not like a, a thing of like, I'm not opening up, like I'm an open book. You can kind of can tell like communication is good for me, but, um, it's like we were so for or I would say I was so focused on on that part that is like I couldn't get past it. You know what I mean? For a minute, like I said, I, I was talking to people, even talking to her to figure out like, hey, like, I don't know. I don't know what the past is looking like. Like, I don't know if, if something like is she really telling me the truth type stuff. Mm. Um, but like I said, the beauty of it, when you have a conversation with your partner, you can get over. Mm -hmm. So I was working towards getting over those things and I was getting over those things, I feel. But I think possibly the damage was done already, where it's like, you got over it, but I'm not, and this, you know, and then he wasn't feeling it. I don't think he got over it. Okay. I, I really don't. Um, this kind of, like, once it was out there, it dragged the whole month. Like, we really just stopped talking, like, a week ago. Wow. So um, it never, it never stopped. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as, like, trauma like i don't have trauma of my past mm -hmm. like i've grown from it like i said like i've this is six years ago mm -hmm. i would hope that i've grown, grown from, from it, it yeah. you know <laughs> like so it's kind of like to have someone come into your life and not know you and then call it a trauma or call say that you're lacking in confidence or mm -hmm. when you've done all these crazy wonderful things that a lot of people are afraid to do mm -hmm. it's like what like who are you talking to like you're not talking to me yeah like i'm i'm a confident person i'm just a private person i'm a calm person so a lot of people don't know how to um accept that so mm -hmm. when they see me it's always i gotta be doing something or okay. i gotta but that's not the case like um when i was in the entertainment world i did have a partner i didn't have to do any of the extra that's crazy true. stuff mm -hmm. that a lot of other women do mm -hmm. um i never dibbled in drugs i never i didn't have you know, I didn't have to cope with yeah. anything like where there was a mission and that was all there was to it. And so explaining that to him, he wasn't understanding that. Mm. Um, it just was like, no, that that's not true. That's not true. And then it was like, well, I'm an eligible bachelor. Mm. Why would I settle for someone with your past? Oh. So it's like you're you're taking these jabs. So he said this. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, okay. so it's like you're taking these jabs, but you want me to just be like, oh, it, it's fine, We're, let's move on. But it's like, how can I be with someone that sees me in such a negative way mm. and not even letting me like show him who I am? Okay. Or what I what I can do or what I offer. Like, I am a soldier. Like, mm. I will go tooth and nail for my man. So it's like, for someone to just come into my life that is asking me all these questions. I'm being very open about everything, mm -hmm. like everything. Like I showed him my OnlyFans. Oh, girl, showed it to him. <laughs> now, <laughs> I know y'all heard what I just heard, right? Now I felt, man, at first, like I watched this before. I actually, usually I do blind reactions, but this one I actually watched. But it's like I gave her the benefit of the doubt even after she said the, you know, the OnlyFans, right? And then, I think I told y'all at the beginning of the video, I went to her Instagram. So her Instagram is current, obviously it's current. And she have XX at the end of her name, it's Nova XX. I'm like, all right, yeah. And then I looked at the videos on the end, I'm like, Shh. Come, bro, 200 fam, she for the streets, bro. Like, I really wanted her to be, on the show, I was actually pulling for her. I'm like, oh yeah, she, you know, she she thick, she, body, she got a body, she's nice, she's polite. I thought he won. So obviously, when a guy gets with a girl and, and she tells you, oh, I do OnlyFans, I don't really do nothing on it though, I don't do much, or like, I, my past was this, bro, trust me, I know how women get down in the strip club, bro, like, in my past life, trust me, you, it's really hard for, for, for a woman that's tripping for money, for you to say, you know what, I give you 2,000 if you do this, it's really, hard for me to believe that uh nova is like oh i'm just gonna pass up on that 2000 you're in this industry anything goes this is like the streets there's no morals out there 
So it's very hard for a man just like him, like who, who's upstanding, who did, you don't do nothing right, but who's upstanding and re really lived a good life to say, all right, I'm finna settle for this chick without thinking about, oh, she got an OnlyFans and she was this. Come on, guys. Yeah, she for the streets, bro. Like, I, I really didn't want her to be, but she is, man. Um, and he was like, oh, that's not even that bad. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't, I've never been that girl. I mm -hmm. never had to go the extra mile. Okay. And he couldn't accept the fact that I didn't have to do all that to get mm -hmm. where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like it was like a, like he was stuck in a, like a, a stigma or like a, what's the word? Um, stereotype. Mm. And it's just like, I'm a multifaceted woman. Like I, I'm educated. I have my associate's degree. I'm working on my bachelor's degree. Um, I hustle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's like, if that's not something that you're okay with, or are you, then I'm not for you mm. because at the end of the day, if you're not going to put me in a place to win, I'm going to go put myself in a place to win. Okay. So it's just, yeah, that never ended. It never ended. It was just, it got to a point where I was like, every time he was like, I got to talk to you about something, uh -oh. I would be like. <sighs> Wait, hold up. It, I don't like the way she said, if you're not going to put me in a place to win. Like, she said it very entitledly. I don't know if that's a new word, but she said it very, like he's supposed to put her in a place to win. No, baby, that's not his job to put you in a place to win. That's your job. You know? You sit down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it was just like uh, the the icing on the cake. Um, that, yeah, that was pretty much it. Like, I just can't be with someone that can't let me grow mm. past where I've already grown from. Like, okay. you're taking me back to where I've came, you know, like, I don't need to go backwards. I need yeah. to go forward. So that's kind of where I was at with that. Okay. So when you speak about like you were in the entertainment world and things like that, I know you mentioned OnlyFans. Is that something you're doing now? No. Oh, that was like no. back then. Yeah, okay. That, and not even back then. Like sometimes I'll like I think the last one was probably like back in April okay. that I dropped like a little three minute video of me just dancing. Mm. So I that's what I did. I was just dancing on there. Like I went um mm -hmm. virtual with my entertainment, with my dancing but mm -hmm. i never showed like i never went full nude or anything like that so okay. it was just kind of like um boudoir um just little stuff like not i mean some people might say that's not little stuff <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't it wasn't as extreme as some people go you know so okay. it was i showed it to him mm -hmm. um i was a dancer for about four or five years mm. during that time i was in a relationship so that's when i was like doing the whole bonnie klein yeah okay. i was trying to do everything i was trying to do it all um and yeah when my partner died i didn't find it fun anymore i felt like it was a lot more vultures out there than mm. i was used to because i didn't have to deal with none of that stuff yeah. so i just kind of let it go okay you know like i i didn't feel like it fit me anymore mm. so i let it go and plus at the time um, I was a single mom, mm -hmm. so my daughter, I think she was like about five years old when I stopped dancing, she was starting to go to kindergarten. And I was like, well, I can't <laughs> do this with her. Like, no, like yeah. it's not gonna work anymore. Like when she was a kid, it was easy because it was like, okay, she sleep at night. Mm -hmm. I drop her off, sit her, go to work, come back. She didn't even know I was gone, yeah, you know? Yeah. But now it's like, I gotta take her to school. I gotta like, I have my responsibility list grew. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, yeah, I can't now. You know, I got my dance back in the corner. She's trying to put on my heels. I'm uh -oh. like, oh no, oh no. Oh, so yeah, it just stopped being fun for me anymore. Yeah. It just started being like, okay, so what type of woman do you want to be? Yeah. So that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I started, I sticked with my modeling for a little bit. And even with that, it was like, I just didn't have the heart for it anymore. Like mm -hmm. I just didn't. I, yeah, I was started bullshit and I missed an appointments and uh, all that. Like it was, it just stopped being fun. Okay. Like, yeah. All right. And now Reggie. <laughs> yeah. All right. So first off, I don't know who uses the word eligible or bachelor together, but I did not say those words. You definitely did. But um, I will say this, um, <clears throat> just with everything she just said. Mm -hmm. um, for me, 
So yes, I never talked to a dancer before. Dancer, that means, you know, when it come, push comes to shove, she knows how to get to the cheese, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm about my money and things like this. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it, it's something that we could have kind of worked through. We, well, we did work through. Yeah. And I know she was saying like, it seemed like you were still stuck there. I wasn't still stuck there. And um, because the communication is, is so high for me, as she knows, like there literally was nothing that we couldn't talk about, right? Mm -hmm. So even the part of like, oh, I didn't know him, it's, it's because like questions wasn't asked. Was any question that would have been asked, I'm not gonna just, I would answer it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and also, as far as um, kind of things that was going on with us, this isn't just, when I say we were together like every day for like two and a half weeks, three weeks, whatever it was, mm -hmm. it was, it wasn't just like, oh, we're just laying up. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I was, like I said, showing her that I'm a man that could lead and, and doing things for whatever she needed. Hey, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to work, fill up your gas tank, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going through a financial hardship, cool. We can uh, make some passive income together. This is how we can do it. If you need your credit fix, we can go through things like this. Like I was giving her the blueprint of everything we could potentially do, a, um, a TikTok, a YouTube channel. Like I was giving her the blueprint of like, we can do all these things together. Like I was leading and moving and temple. And the, the big thing, uh, for me, for her is I said, no matter what we go through, we can have a conversation about it. Every single thing we went through, when we had a conversation about it, we're able to get over it. But if I'm getting blocked and I, you know, I can't even hit her up and things like this, how you're blocking my superpower. You know what I mean? And I don't say my superpower, but it, my, my thing of like, if we're going through these hard things early, we're going to get through we're gonna get through and then you know a lot of people they'll meet each other it's all bliss and roses and then like six months down the line it's like you wasn't you know what it, <clears throat> you know what it is like because i'll be analyzing i'm really good at analyzing people when she told him about her past at that moment he knew he didn't want he didn't want to be with her but he didn't want he don't want to leave her at that moment, he didn't want to leave her. He didn't want to be with her as a wife. But what happened was she put that box on him. And he fell in love with the box. That's why he's like, all right, I know I'm not going to be with this woman, but I want to see how long I can still clap cheeks. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me 200 ain't lying. I'm telling you. She put that box on him. He fell in love with the box. I've been in a situation like that, trust me. And it's like, I don't want to be with this woman. I know I'm not going to be with her, but I want to prolong boxing for as long as I possibly can. So obviously I'm going to tell her what she want to hear until it just come to a point to where we separate. That, that's what I'm, that's what I'm vibing right now. Person, then they stop. The, the, the thing about me, like this is Reggie. You know what I mean? Like if you like me now, you'll love me later. If you don't like me now, you won't like me later, but at least you can say that man was himself. He didn't wait for two months down the line. He didn't wait for, while I was wrapped around his finger. He didn't wait for me to say no, he was already him. And um, she felt that, you know what I mean? So the fact that, that that's when I, I said it was trauma because there's no way everything we went through, we was able to talk through it. And then you just like a breaking point where it's like, you, she started saying some wild things like, well, I'm about to just get someone to pay my rent. And it's like, you're not even believing in the, the plans okay. that I'm setting for us. Like my we dear. have plans. I'm, I'm, I just want you to believe in what my we got dear. going on. Like it's too many people who want to see us win, including yourself, including BM. Yeah. I was even seeking counsel from both of y'all. Like, oh, would you think of how we do it this weekend? And it's like everyone believed in the vision except her. And I get it. You know, sometimes if you're going through like financial hardship, things like this, everyone's what? going through there. You're not yourself or what, what have you. But because I was leading, because I had plans every step of the way, it's just unfortunate to me that she didn't believe enough in and everything that I was showing her. I was not just talking. These are like everything I'm saying right now. It was all in the play. We sat down for like an hour or whatever it was like, hey, this is how we do a shop. You know what I'm saying? Like all these things. So it's just like and and it remind me one. I'm kind of long winded, but um, she asked me the question, like, how do you deal with conflict? And I said that answer is like, mm -hmm. you know, give your grace and don't go to sleep early. But I should have returned that question because she doesn't handle conflict. Well, she's like run to run away. And it's like, we got through so much. Why you want to run away now? Like beyond the show, you know what I mean? Like it got to the point where it's like, damn, how do we meet? Because like it was just so genuine and so real. Yeah. It's like, oh, shoot, the show. You know what I mean? So it's like <clears throat> it was real for me. It basically is what I'm getting at. So me going through, oh, you was a dancer. I don't know about that. I really I don't like, hey, give us some advice. You know what I mean? Like I was it was real for me when I was trying to work through it. You know what I'm saying? So that part definitely was hurting for a bit. And 
you know, like <laughs> if a woman blocks you, it's literally the worst thing you can do to a dude. It's like, I'm not saying I'm like, yeah, I was definitely hurt by it, but it's like, cause you feel like you can't talk. Like call me a B, like call me, you know what I'm saying? Do something like, don't just block me that I can't talk to you. Then it's like, I'm fighting with myself. Then should I text her? Should I not? You know what I mean? It's, it's like, well, you can't text us, you block, right? But so I was definitely going through it. And that's probably the only good thing. I was trying to look for the positive of things. Like I've been working on doing my own stuff, like getting back consistent with posting and stuff like that. So. I was going through that and that helped me to kind of thrive to get to where I am now. But I definitely was hurt by, you know what I'm saying, her actions um, for sure. Okay, Nova, let's switch on over to you. Yeah, so cool story. Um, financial hardship, absolutely not. Um, he gave me $40 for my gas tank. It takes 50 and we talked about that. He was like, why did you let me fill it up? And I was like, well, it's okay. Like I. The fact that she said, that it takes 50 is wild to me that right there gave away her whole notion it's the little things she said he sent me 40 for my gas tank but it takes 50. why would you even say that statement think about it why why would you say it takes 50. that shows me that you definitely having financial hardships i'm pretty yeah it, it really do it's just it's just 10 bucks. I can do it. Yeah. Um, and then he bought me a $65 PlayStation camera. Mm -hmm. That is all the money that he spent on me. So for him to sit here and say that I am going through trauma and I am going through financial hardship that I need saving from um, is a little bit precocious. Mm -hmm. So my heart is pounding i'm i'm trying so hard to stay calm and can i respond i'm to just tired of, of being I can wait, I can wait, I can wait. you can um i'm just at this point <clears throat> i'm just tired of people like playing with me mm. i want financial elevation i want financial security but at the end of the day for you to sit here and act like you spent all this money on me and you're actually helping me and you you're be there for me and you haven't done any of those things he told me a, there was a lot of other little tidbits in the meat in the middle of that where it was like he wanted me to deposit my check into his account and i get an allowance off of that no i'm not working to have an yeah. allowance off my thing that wasn't a cap that wasn't a cap. My mom was on, you were on speaker. My mom was there. So if you guys want to, you know, ask my mother, <laughs> we could do that. Um, so yeah, that was, that was something that was said. Also, um, he's leaving in November because he's on contract for his job. Mm -hmm. He told me that I was supposed to go with him. Go where? Wherever he goes. Okay. I'm in nursing school. That wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, he was convinced that I was going to change my mind come November. Um, I pay for school out of pocket. I go to a private school so it's it's pretty expensive so I'm not gonna just drop out of school just because I found a match mm -hmm. on a dating show that doesn't even isn't comfortable with me at all um, there was another thing as well where he said I wasn't his typical type mm. um, actually Micah was Micah from the same uh, yes from, okay the one that he had to choose between me or her oh. Um, so it was kind of like, why choose me if I wasn't even your type? Mm. It was because he liked my answers. That's what I was told. And that's what he said on the show as well. Um, and then for you to get someone like me and then try to drag me through the mud to make yourself feel better and yourself secure, I wasn't going to be a part of that roller coaster ride. Mm. I'm not going to feed your ego because you can't handle what you chose. And I, literally, I was chosen. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Mm. Um, also, he told me by the end of the summer, I would have to get off birth control because this is his last year that he was going to plan to have a child. I have a 10-year-old. I'm not trying to have a kid by nobody that's not my husband. So mm. that was the thing. Um, and all these things that were said to me, he's piling up on top of me in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So it just feels like a roller coaster ride mm -hmm. that I'm on. And I'm supposed to just 
be okay with everything that's being said and done. Like, yeah. no. So what made you block him? Or how many times was he blocked? I guess I should ask that question as Just well. Just this last time. Like, oh, okay. I've, I've tried. Like, because it would always be like, oh, well, I was talking to you as a friend and confidence. And I was, you know, I, I reached out and I was asking for advice. And I'm like, okay, maybe he doesn't fully understand, like, what he's saying or what he's doing or how he's moving. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's okay. And I, I've been in that situation. Like he said, like, he asked me, like, you know, have you ever dated a guy that never dated someone that's been in the entertainment world? And it's kind of crazy because it's like, that was so long ago and here we are talking about it again. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay. So I, you know, I told him like, yeah, I used to date a guy that was Jehovah Witness and he, he was kind of walking out on his faith mm -hmm. and going, he was dipping back and forth. So he made it very hard for me as well. So we ended up parting ways and I told him too, like, I'm okay. I'm open enough to tell you anything that you want to know mm -hmm. before you to sit in my face and tell me that I'm lying to you mm -hmm. is like, what's the point of even talking about any, anything. Mm -hmm. So it just got to a point where it was just like, like a snowball like it was so good in the beginning like it was so good like we had so much fun like and then it was just like Crash. Reginald yeah. came out mm. you know like it was like a, and he's always like I'm transparent I'm I'm uh, this is me take me as I am but then he would turn around and be like well, you got to do this. Are you, you, what do you, what about this? Like he was saying how he wanted to have threesomes every other night, all the other times. And I was like, well, I don't really, like I've been in situations where, you know, I had fun, but that's not something that I wanted to do on a regular. So it was like, if why even, like I'm getting into my head where I'm like, why am I even? All right, I'm going to end the video right there, man. Y'all can go finish the video, but I'm already seeing what's happening, right? After the part where she said he wanted her to deposit her check into his account, I'm like, oh, now I see what's going on. So that <clears throat> now on both ends, I'm not taking no sides, but I'm going to tell you all what, why he started acting a certain way. And then when she mentioned the threesomes part at the end, that made me like, okay, this is what he was thinking. So what it is, is this guy's a successful man in some he, he's, he has a successful career this and that so what happened was when she told him her past and obviously they've been uh actual active they've been active because she wouldn't have said um the statement that he said uh you're gonna have to get off birth control by the end of the year so yeah, he wouldn't mention nothing about birth control if they weren't uh, actual active. So what happened was obviously he liked it that part of the 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 the, the agreement. He liked it the ex because I'm pretty sure she get down like that. You feel me? She, she used to be a stripper. She know how to do certain moves. He was digging it, but he felt like since he's successful, she's never been with a guy like well, sister. Jo uh, besides the Jehovah Witness, but she's feeling he feels superior than her now. So now he feels like, well, I, I could pro possibly con control her. Let me see if I can get her to send me her money. You know what I'm saying? He throws stuff out there. Hey, let me see if I can get her to have threesomes. She, was, she used to be a stripper. She probably ain't opposed to nothing. That's how he thinking. He like, hey, I probably could do anything with this one. You feel me? So his whole mind changed about her once she told him his past. She got an OnlyFans. What? Man, I can live out all my fantasies with her. And as soon as I'm done, I'm out. <laughs> you feel me? That's what I'm thinking. He go, going through his head right now. But, hey, man, like, tell me what y'all think in the comments about that situation, man. Would y'all give a woman like that a chance? Me, personally, I would get, I, like I said, I would have gave her the benefit of the doubt because everybody got a pass and everybody can change. If I didn't see her Instagram, because her Instagram is something you can change right now. It's current. So that basically showed me what type of woman she was. I'm like, nah, that's the reason I wouldn't give her a chance. But anybody can change. Y'all tell me in the comments what y'all think about that, man. Y'all go follow me on Instagram, 200 underscore acres. And hey, see you guys next video. Let's get it, man.